Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. Today we're going to be continuing our coverage of the newest Dice Throne content. Uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at Season 1 Rerolled. So for the most part, if you are familiar with Dice Throne, uh, you are, have probably seen a lot of these heroes already. But all of these heroes from the original Kickstarter have been redone. The art, Some of the artwork's been redone. The player boards have definitely all been redone. Um, and then we have two brand new characters, the Treant and the Ninja. And we also have this promo pack from the Kickstarter that we'll take a look at what those cards are. So, uh, again, this is mainly just kind of showing off the stuff that is new um, to Dice Throne. So this isn't going to be nearly as in-depth as the Dice Throne Adventures one was. So here is the... <clears throat> As you can see, the you know the season one rerolled has this nice artwork on it here that's got all the various symbols and um, you know, basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here are the eight uh, contents. Let's see what's in here. Uh, some advertising, and these look like the kind of reference sheets, instruction manuals. I'm guessing fit in the middle. So here are the miniatures if we want to so choose uh, basically most of their content here shopdicethrone.com. So little advertisement. Okay so this is interesting. They've got a lot of their tokens out here. Um, these are new. Um, so they're not sitting in the hero trays like they are uh, in the other ones. So I guess for the most part, this little center area is going to simply hold the rules of play, um, which this is version 2.2, which is interesting. Um, never read version 2.2. So, um, or maybe I have. Maybe this is what's been coming in all the retail copies of, but uh, I'm, again, I'm not gonna cover the rules here I just want to show off um, some of the the player boards and the two new ones and it looks like the two new ones yep are going to be right here in the front so let's slide this off to the side here and take a look at the treant okay so the train is one of the brand new characters for uh, season one re-rolled here is his, what the back of his artwork looks like. Again, when it's folded up, it looks all one piece. And then this is what the actual player board looks like. So, looks like his ultimate is Wake the Forest. You and a chosen teammate gain Wellspring, grow five spirits, inflict Barb Divine, and then deal 10 damage. Okay, so I believe now we saw a couple of these <clears throat> here, I believe, are some of the spirits, but there's not even five tokens here. So I'm not really sure where all the rest of these are coming into play. Um, this is my honest first look at the treant. So um, splinters, pretty straightforward. Overgrowth, deal two damage. You may remove up to two spirits to add four damage per spirit removed. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at what these spirits might do. All right, so they are there are the various spirits. So spirits, you may spend one spirit of each type once per turn to receive one of the effects listed in their section below. Spend a seedling to reroll one of your dice. Spend a sapling to heal one and gain one, or spend a sapling to and one CP to draw one card or the Dryad Spirit, spend Dryad to add three damage attack modifier. If an opponent's attack would inflict a negative status effect upon you, you may spend Dryad at the conclusion of their offensive roll phase to prevent that incoming status effect. Okay, Barb Divine and Wellspring. So, just some nice little uh, companions. He is a complexity six, which is definitely the highest. Um, when can I spend a seedling or a sapling? These companions may be spent at any time as if they were an instant action. Again, uh, I'm not going to cover all of the, the FAQs here. This is just meant to be 
kind of a quick showing off of the unboxing. I'm also not going to go and dive into all the cards yet, but here are his dice. They're a nice, like, light brown color. Very earthy tones here. His CP and his health dial. All right, so that is the treant. Let's get him back in there. Here is the ninja. Alright. So this is the back of the ninja board. And then the other side. Oops. Assassinate. Inflict delayed poison on two chosen opponents. Maybe the same opponent. Gain smoke bomb. Deal 10 damage. Okay, let's take a look at the ninja's board here. Delayed poison, receive three damage at the end of your turn. Um, smoke bomb, when a player with this token receives damage, they may choose to spend it. If spent, roll one. The outcome is one to three, no damage. And ninjutsu, spend a roll to modify your attack. Can I use ninjutsu token to make an attack undefendable after my opponent rolls for defense? Hmm. No. And they have a complexity of two, so much different than the treant, its companion. So here are the dice. You can see they're dark gray in nature, combat, and health token. Alright, so for the rest of these, we're basically just going to take a quick look at um, mainly the player boards because these are all um, going to be looking and feeling very different. So here is the monk. All of the you know actions and dice rolls and everything should be the same, um, but the artwork and you know the shape of the player boards is much more fantastic. Here's the monk's board, CP combat and health, and here are his whoops. Here are his dice. And the paladin. The crowd favorite. Paladin's board. Here's his sheet. Combat points, health dial, and his dice. Take a look at Shadow Thief. I always open these up the wrong way. Shadow Thief's board. Health, CP marker, and dice. board, card, health dial, CP, and her bright orange dice. All 
right, and last but certainly not least, the Barbarian and the Moon Elf. If I remember correctly, these are the first two that they recommended you play with when you first got the game. So I'm pretty sure these are the first two characters I ever played a game of Dice Throne with. And I'm pretty sure I played two-handed against myself. So <clears throat> I've been waiting this entire time for a solo mode. So here's the Barbarian. It's interesting, he's like crushing the die instead of holding his sword. This is, of course, a fan favorite. Concussion and stun. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Here's his CP and health dial and his red dice. the moon elf who knows player aid CP dial health dial and uh, in my opinion some of the better looking dice All right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is essentially all that comes in the season one rerolled content. Uh, the Treant and the Ninja were the brand new content. Uh, everything else is the same, just kind of updated components for the most part for season one rerolled. Here is, uh, you know, what the side of the box looks like. So Treant, Ninja, Paladin, Monk, Shadow Thief, Pyromancer, Moon Elf, and Barbarian. Um, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all there is to it. Again, all of the tokens were packed up together here, so we'll be um, undoing those in a little bit. The only ones that were really brand new are the Ninjutsu, Smoke Bomb, uh, Delayed Poison, and basically the sheet was for the Ninja and the Tree in here. All the rest of them um, you should be familiar with um, are all part of the regular Season 1 people. All right, the very last thing we're gonna look at today is what came in the uh, season one rerolled promo pack. Um, these are essentially randomizers for if you are just wanting to uh, play a quick game and are willing to try out some new characters. So there's one for each character here in season one rerolled. They have this unique back on them so you don't accidentally get them mixed up with your um, you know, your regular decks. So that was part of the promo pack, just a simple randomizer. And then we have uh, a single card to be added to each uh, season one character's deck. So let's take a look at these real quick. For the Barbarian, we have Adrenaline Surge. And again, it's noted here that this is a promo card. So you can um, add this to your content if you want, or you can keep it out. <coughs> Here is the Monk's card, Enlightenment. Lunar Umbra for the Moon Elf. Dojo for the Ninja. The Paladin gets Divine Favor. Infernal Infusion for the Pyromancer. Shadow Meld for the Shadow Thief. And last but not least, for the Treant, we have Mother Tree. Roll one dice, grow four spirits on what I'm guessing is probably a six. All right, so that is all of the content for Season 1 Rerolled. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be part of more Dice Throne Adventures content coming very soon on the channel, please consider subscribing. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.